the move that affects more than 40 million borrowers, according to the White House. To be eligible, you need to have made less than $125,000 in either 2020 or 2021, or less than $250,000 for families. As for the forgiveness amount, it's up to 10 grand for most and 20 grand if you're a Pell Grant recipient. Now the application is pretty simple with just two parts. The first part asks for basic information like your name, also your social security number. The second part makes you electronically signed and attest that everything you filled out is true and correct. While you're not asked to provide any documentation at the time of application, the government could follow up and ask for it. So do not lie about your income because you could be subject to criminal penalties. While the application is open until December 2023 or next year, it is encouraged that the sooner you fill it out, the better. So when will borrowers see relief exactly? So while it's important to note there are lawsuits out there and going on, uh, the Department of Education said up to six weeks. Wow. Okay. So reasonably quick considering how most things move. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you know, it's the U.S. government. Give it time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And what about the scams? Are there emails that are associated with this? Yeah, whenever we see anything like this, scams usually come out and try to take advantage of mm -hmm. people. So all of the emails that will be sent from the government will say studentaid.gov. There are three variations. So what I'll do is I'll post them online. Just triple check. Any, you get any emails you get. Absolutely. Yeah, you just don't want to get those, click on them and put all your personal information in there and then be out of money instead of getting forgiveness. Correct. It would be a messy thing to clean up. Yeah. <laughs>